it yet to see. Oh, this guy made a new up made a new update. Now his thing can natively extract things. So well, that would be very, very, very helpful for all those people who are having problems with the PKG decrypt uh, extract the script. Because it we used to bunch an SH file and that will always mainly went meant for Unix. But if we just push out a new version that will basically fix it. So let's just quickly I'm gonna go quickly compile that. Um let's see GCC PKG PKG dash L crip crip So Alright there we go. So we'll create the file called a dot exe. Let's just rename that to pkg extractor just for good measure. All right now I'm going to go grab a pkg file. I thought heaps of them somewhere in here. I'm just going to look for I'm just grab any old one. Um. Okay, I'll take this one. I guess. Long one. What's the wrong folder? I'm pretty sure it's the wrong folder I would normally go into. Oh, there it is. There it is. So I thought, okay. Alright, now I'm just going to paste that. Alright. And I'll rename it to PK to test. So I'm just going to call test, but it's easier to do. And I'm going to see how this new thing works. So PKG extractor. Alright, that's pretty simple. PKG extractor. Um, test.pkg. Whoa, that was fast. That was really fast to the work. Let's have a look at that parent info. Yep, it worked. Okay, new version. Um, this is in the description. Pre-compiled and everything. Thank you all for watching this quick video. It's super, super quick and should fix all the problems that the last one had. Um, because it doesn't have to rely on .sh scripts. So, whatever. Um, see ya.